Experimental cancer vaccine destroys existing tumors and prevents recurrence. Scientists have found a way to turn cells against each other cancer. They transform them so that they eliminate their own kinsmen. Moreover, this approach trains the immune system and causes long-term immunity, which prevents the disease from returning. Scientists tested its dual-acting cancer vaccine on a mouse model brain glioma, obtaining promising results. They also argue that the vaccine it may also work in other types of cancer. American researchers have developed anti-cancer therapy dual action that simultaneously eliminates existing tumors and prevents them creating new ones. The idea was simple. We wanted to take cancer cells and turn them into cancer killers and vaccines, said Walid Shah of Brigham and Women's Hospital. Using genetic engineering, we change the purpose of cancer cells. Our goal is to develop a drug that it kills cancer cells and stimulates the immune system both to destroying primary tumors and preventing the formation of new ones, he added. The results and description of the research were published in the journal Science Translational Medicine. Most cancer vaccines in development it uses inactivated cancer cells just like vaccines antiviral use inactivated virus particles to help the system the immune system identifies any live viruses and destroys them. Such the founding guided researchers at Brigham and Women's Hospital in creating new anti-cancer therapy. However, scientists instead of using inactivated ones they intended to try to transform the cancer cells into living cells cancerous anti-cancer agents that will both destroy active cells cancer and will allow the immune system to remember how to fight them next time. The team of researchers intended to change the purpose of the cells cancer for a reason. Cancer cells have an unusual feature. Like carrier pigeons returning to their perches, living cancer cells overcome large ones distances around the body to return to where others are tumor cells were explained by researchers in the publication. Using this one a unique property, Shaw's team created living cancer cells using the crispr ca 9 gene editing tool and repurposed them to release immunomodulators that stimulate the immune system and help destroy a tumor. There is one more thing. Modified cancer cells they are designed to carry molecules on their surface that they would make it easier for the immune system to detect, determine, and remembering, teaching and preparing the immune system for the long-term anti-cancer response. What makes this approach so promising is that these living cancer cells, unlike inactivated cells, can target other cancer cells by transferring agents anti-cancer directly to the target. Importantly, reworded cells after they die after completing their task. After packing them into a vaccine, the team tested their modified cancer cells on mice. There were mice in the rodent group suffering from glioblastoma multiforme, an aggressive and fatal form of cancer brain. There were also those that carried bone marrow, liver, and thymus cells coming from humans, mimicking the human immune system. This treatment had on the aim is to obtain results that would be as close as possible to research on people, without actually using people. The tested dual action cell therapy turned out to be impressive become safe and effective in mouse models, ensuring a long lasting response immunological. According to Shaw, this approach is not specific to glioma multiform, but also for other solid tumors. Although they are needed further testing, Shaw's team specifically selected this model and used human one cells to make it easier to translate your discoveries into humans. Our goal is to embrace the innovative but the possible to translate the approach so that we can develop a cancer-killing vaccine, the which will ultimately have a lasting impact on medicine, Shah emphasized.